way back to the light, but I can't go to it. My dream build. We imported this Liberty Walk kit straight from Japan. We've spent months perfecting doing the wide body kit at LTMW, painting the car, replacing some interior pieces, and today the final piece of the puzzle are these forge line wheels and sticky Michelin Cup 2 tires. The same pair that we also run on my C8 Corvettes daily slash track setup. I haven't actually seen these wheels. I don't know what they look like. I would open them right now, but we're running a little bit behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and load these up in the Bronco and then we'll open them up when we get to LTMW. Why, why isn't this unlocking? Oh, I have the wrong key. I have a Maserati key. This must be a key for this brand new MC20 sitting right behind me. And one of you lucky, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maserati dropped off and delivered this brand new MC20, the twin turbo three liter V6, eight speed DCT today. I can't not drive this car. So Masa, the man behind the camera today is going to be driving the Bronco Del TMW and I'm going to be ripping the Maserati. We've got the butterfly doors, carbon fiber tub, slick leather interior. Months back, I was invited to see the unveil of the MC20, the first one in North America over at Willow Springs with a starting MSRP of $190. $95,000. This beautiful blue Infinito, I think that's how you pronounce it, MC20 is going to be my daily for the next week. So thank you Maserati. Let's load up the wheels and tires and get on the road so we can see the Ferrari. Good thing these wheels are light. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, always drive in track mode. You gotta hold it to go into Corsa. <laughs> we gotta give the MC20 a little bit of a rev. You can hear that turbo flutter. <laughs> I'm loving this car. <laughs> Around 650 horsepower, the room definitely kicks out, and those blow-off valves sound nice. This is like a classy take on a supercar, in my opinion. We are here, boys and girls. We are here. LTMW. Oh my god. Do you guys want to see what I did with the color? Do you want to see what I finally decided was the color of 458? You know those credit cards that you have that you bought a bunch of expensive car parts on and now you're just slowly paying down a never ending bill? Or what if you have high interest loans or credit card debt and you want to tackle your next financial goal? I would love to take a moment to thank today's financial saving sponsor, Upstart. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. And Upstart finds smarter rates with trusted partners based on more than just your credit score, like income and unemployment, to get you back on track. You can get approved the same day after a five minute online rate check and receive funds as fast as one business day. If debt is taking over your life, see if Upstart can help. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com forward slash Amelia or click the link in the description below. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Thanks again Upstart for sponsoring today's video. Now 
let's get back to the episode. Boom! I left her the same. I have to see it parked on the brand new wheels. I think it's just gonna compliment it so much. So let's go ahead and get this 458 up on the jack stands and let's test fit the wheels to one, make sure they clear, but two, see how they fit. Whoa, this lighting is sick. I saw to do something like this at my shop. These here are the AL301s made by Forge Line. The fronts are 20 by a nine and a half and the rears are at 20 by 12. We're gonna test with them right now because nothing like this has ever been done on the Silhouette GT kit. You went a little aggressive with them. <laughs> oh my God, on camera, this looks insane. These wheels look so much better than I could have ever imagined on the car. This fitment is perfect. I can't wait to see this lowered on some Michelin tires. And now for the rear. Look how massively wide these are. So the next step is we're gonna mount these Michelin tires and then we're gonna park the car on the ground and see exactly what fitment looks like. I put the tire on the wheel, but Leo's gonna be mounting these Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s onto the Forge Line wheels. Vans or Janoski's for my shop shoes, but after that burnout with the Mustang, I walked through some tire tread and uh, the shoes were never the same again. So I think I have my first shop pair of J's. All right, moment of truth. a small spacer in the rear, but aside from that, I think the fronts fit perfectly. I just have to give a sincere thank you to Fur Parts. They've helped supply me with a lot of hard to find OEM pieces. And the company that repaired the dash was called L&D, so also a huge thank you to you guys as well. They did such a phenomenal job. It looks brand new. Do you want me to buy you a Red Bull? <laughs> I'm gonna run to a Starbucks. <laughs> you wanna see the car first? Well, I've already seen it on Daily Driven Exotic. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Nice. Wheels are very, not you, but. Some different. We are getting all the parts out of here because this is going to be goodbye. We are taking home the 458 today. You guys ready to see her with the wing on and everything? Here she comes. Fully done. The air is up right now so we don't scratch. And that's the cool thing about these KW coilovers is that we have four corner lift so we don't scratch anything going over bumps. Thank you. Now I gotta change the key blue. I should have had you guys paint the key too. <laughs> go, just leave. Just go. Are you gonna huck it again? I'm gonna see what if I scratch it when I dropped it out of a helicopter. Dropped it? You hucked it out of a helicopter. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Come scratches. You trying to race, bro? You trying to go? You trying to race, bro, bro? do you even race? <laughs> After six long months, I am proud to finally introduce to you my Liberty Walk Silhouette GT Ferrari 458. I love this car. This was a vision that I had had ever since I saw the Silhouette GT kit online, and I am a fangirl. Just the subtleties in this, I mean, there's nothing about this is really subtle, but from the aggressive point in the front to these sexy vents in the front fender, to even these canards, which are an addition to the kit, which later I said, long, we have to get these because it just makes it look that much more aggressive. This diffuser is also one of my favorite parts because it's just gnarly and comes out and sticks out and mates with the wide body. I plan on tracking this car. So from the beginning, I was very adamant about not doing air ride suspension to lay the frame on the ground. And at first, long thought me about it. And then afterwards, he's like, man, we should do more cars than coilovers. But winding the 
track with and having the aero package that we have on this car was all part of a greater plan to track this car. And that's of course why we had to do the Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires and the Forge Line wheels, which we have on the vet and both sets for the Corvette we use for racing. So she looks pretty now, but she won't look pretty forever. There's gonna be rock trips in her and definitely some wear. Uh, a lot of people are surprised when I tell them that this car is going to be tracked and yes, it is. My goal in life is to build hero cars. I wanna build something that's going to inspire not only the car community, but people at home just to modify their dailies. I think building cars is really an extension of yourself and it's a way to express yourself and cars also provide the sense of freedom and escape. This may not be the biggest build I've done, but it's definitely the most expensive build I've done. And I think a lot of people think like, oh, supercar, that is like the pinnacle of builds. Where do you go from here? But I don't think cost represents pinnacle of builds. I feel like you can do some crazy hero type builds without necessarily the cost because at the end of the day, it's whatever speaks to you. And you may be thinking, what's next? Well, we got to build the engine in the Mustang. And I have a couple surprise builds that are going to be announced soon that uh, hopefully will complete in the 2022 year. And for anyone from Ferrari watching this video, yes, I still plan on getting an F40. And yes, I'll modify that one too. <laughs> I'll wait for my cease and desist in the mail. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs>